Hello everyone, just wanted to show you my um, painted wooden orthodox church which was one of the models that uh, I purchased at Salute recently. Um, it's from the company um, Wargamer Poland who do the by fire and sword set of walls and the figures and buildings that accompany that set of walls. Um, so the original intention is that it was for uh, the period of the sort of Eastern Renaissance, um, so 17th century, but really it's a timeless kind of building that you could use that for the Napoleonic Wars, for the Second World War, First World War, Russian Civil War. Um, Russian Civil War is the main thing that I've got in mind for it. I um, haven't painted it quite like on the box, um, they've got the woodwork sort of whitewashed or something. Um, I went for more kind of natural wood colour. Um, you have to sort of assemble it to a certain extent, nothing terribly uh, difficult. Uh, the one, I left the roof detachable, um, just so they could put figures in there. And I also um, left this part of the tower detachable, not because I intend to put any figures in there, but the one thing that I'm a little bit wary about is that these orthodox crosses on the onion domes, um, you have to glue on, and it's you're gluing them onto a very small kind of surface. I can see those being knocked off quite easily, not just in during transport, but um, when you're leaning over them, over the table to move figures and so on. Um, so I thought if I left that loose, it might give me a little bit of uh, give if my elbow caught it or someone else's elbow touched it. But I did manage to snap one of them off just during the painting that I turned it around and it and it hit the edge of something, came off. So um, yeah, but that's a minor thing. I think I think it's a really nice model. Um, as I say, useful for a lot of different periods. Give you a little zoomed in view as well. Windows have got sort of some kind of uh, grill effect on them, which I painted a kind of copper colour. Um, I chose to paint the tiled roof a sort of reddish tile. The, the painting on the box has got it as a sort of brown tile, which I didn't, didn't think was particularly uh, realistic. And as I say, the woodwork I left just as a kind of natural, natural wood colour. Painted the onion dome as a kind of copper colour, but the um, crosses, the orthodox crosses on the top of them, I thought I would uh, paint and uh, sort of make them look as though they'd been gilded with a sort of gold leaf or something like that, or painted gold. So it just gave them a little bit more shine. Yeah, that's it really. So, I think next I'll do that uh, nobleman's house that I bought at the same time. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Bye for now.